Good day, and uh, welcome to my second uh, video tutorial. Uh, this one is going to be about uh, basically entering targets into the jet. So, I'm going to be starting at this screen right here, normally is what you would see. So, in order to get into the JSAL, you just go into Stores. Make sure you are selected the JSAL. Make sure you select JSAL Display, and then under Mission. What we have now is we have our JSAL display uh, and make sure you're in pre-planned mode and you have all the various pre-planned waypoints up here. And you'll notice there's an X through them because there's no information right here. So this is where you're going to start in terms of where you have to be uh, once you start entering commands into the actual jet. But the first thing you have to do is you have to get your target uh, information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my F10. Now I've already, you know, zoomed in and created a bunch of uh, simple uh, targets here. You know, I got a AAA here, got a couple of scuds, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter three of these targets: this one, this one, this one, and I'm going to enter them into the jet just via voice. So we'll go down to this one. You'll notice down here in the bottom left-hand corner we have our coordinates. So what we're going to say is we're going to say we're going to enter the degrees, minutes, and seconds for the northern, right, which is your latitude, and degrees, minutes, and seconds for the east, which is your longitude. And you're also going to select the altitude of two feet. And just to, if you watch my other video on how to install, I mentioned about default altitude, and I've set it to 10 feet. So if I don't enter anything under altitude, it will actually use that 10 feet I mentioned earlier. So that's what I was saying. I was going to explain it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to enter this these set of coordinates. So let's go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to issue the command north degrees 41. North degrees 41. So that entered it in to there. Now I'll do the minutes. North, minutes, 35. So now I'll do the uh, seconds. North, seconds, 56. Oh, i got to redo it again because I let go. North, seconds, 56. So now I've entered all three of those for the north. Now I'm going to do the east. East degrees 41. East minutes 34. East seconds 13. Now I'm going to enter the burst altitude for the JSAL. And I'm just going to pick again, or I'm going to pick this here of two feet. Now this one you have to enter in a very specific way. So you have to actually put the leading zeros in it as well. So it's a, it's a four-digit uh, altitude. So in this particular case, it would be 0, 0, 0, 0002. So let's do that. Burst, 0, 0, 0, 0002. Altitude set to two feet. So that's how you actually have to do it. So now we've entered that particular target into the program. It's not in the jet yet, it's just in the program. So now we're going to go to the next target. Well, in order to do that, you have to save this one. So we'll issue the command, save targets. Save targets. Target saved. Number of targets is one. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to select our next target. And we're going to do repeat that again. And I'll try to do the whole thing this time in one, basically one long command by holding in the button. So here goes. North degrees 41. North minutes 36. North seconds 35. East degrees 41. East minutes 34. East seconds 48. Burst 0018. Altitude set to 18 feet. So now we've got our second target in. Now we save it. Save targets. Target saved. Number of targets is 2. So now we'll put our third one in. 
click on it up here just so we can see the information. And by the way, you don't necessarily have to do it this way. Like if you move your mouse around at the top left-hand corner up here, you'll actually see coordinates as well. And so if you're if you're picking one of the, you know, you want to drop a JSAL on this building here or whatever, something built in, whatever you want. But in this case, we're going to do these two SCUDs and this AAA. So we're on this one. So let's do that again. And we'll enter these coordinates down here. North degrees, 41. North minutes, 37. North seconds, 20. East degrees, 41. East minutes, 35. East seconds, 21. And what I did there is I didn't do it right. So I got to redo it. But I could just redo the seconds since I haven't saved the target yet. East seconds, 21. Now I'll do the uh, burst altitude, which in this case is 9 feet. Burst, 0, 0, 0, 9. Altitude set to 9 feet. So, once you hear that, everything's been entered. Now we save the targets again. Save targets. Target saved. Number of targets is 3. So we've entered all three into the program itself. Again, they're not in the jet yet, but they are in the program ready to be entered into the jet. So I'm going to go back to the cockpit. Now, as I said, you have to be in pre-planned mode. Right? Cursor has to be over this first target. Make sure nothing else is selected here. Now, there are two modes for putting targets into, the, into here. One is you can put them all onto one station if you want, or you can put one per station, which I believe, frankly, is the way it, it, it should be, but you can. And this program supports that. So if I go in, uh, and, I'll, and I'll show you the difference here. So if I issue the command one per station, it will do the first target here. It will do a step, do the first target in the next one, do a step, first target in the next one. I'm just going to do it both ways just to show you that you can do it. So the command is just enter targets. Make sure that you are your uh, windows in focus and you just go enter targets. Enter targets. Entering target number one into the jet. And so now you'll notice that it starts entering all the coordinates. Now, it'll take, I don't know, maybe a minute or so to do three targets. But I think this is a lot easier to do than writing it down and then trying to plug it all in and make sure. So now it'll do the uh, altitude for that one, which is two feet. Entering target number two into the jet. It's done number one. Now it moves over to target number two. And as you see, it's doing them all on the same station which is in this particular case, what we want. And it may be something that you want when you're flying. It's up to you. So here it's doing their Latin long. And now it's doing the number of uh, feet. Entering target number three into the jet. And now it's doing target number three. And you see there that these are all the coordinates that we put in. And then once it's done all three, it'll just go back to the very first one uh, on the on the display here anyway. All targets entered into the jet. So we are now back to exactly where we were, except as you can see, we have target. Now I'm going to move my screen up a little bit. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, you can just see it up here. Tells you exactly where that target is. If I select pre-plan number two, switch this target, switch this target. And as you saw on the on the map, they're fairly close to each other, so they're not far. So now what we're going to do, and, and, and I'm going to switch it to, uh, I'm going to switch it over to the other command. The other command, of course, is right here, which is one per station. So we'll issue that command now and redo it. And all we have to do is just go one per station. So one per station. Target waypoints will be only one per station. 
So we'll just do enter targets again. Enter targets. Entering target number one into the jet. So you'll notice it'll do the same one for this because target number one is still the same on this particular. And we just watch this as it goes through. And I did notice something that I did wrong, and I'll point this out. Entering target number two into the jet. Going to next station. And I'll show you a, an error that I made, and I want to point this out here because it's kind of important. You may have noticed it when it was doing it. I don't know if you would or not, so we shall see. <laughs> Oh, actually, I just realized <laughs> I didn't do what I thought. Entering I target number three into the jet. Going to next station. So it's going to enter the third target in. And it's going to obviously do it based on the station. So almost done. All targets entered into the jet. So, we now have all three targets into the station. Now, the issue that I thought I had done, but it turns out I didn't, was that right now, you'll notice I'm on station 7. If I step one more time, a couple more times, you'll notice go to station 8. All three targets are here. And that's the one thing you have to be careful of, is which station you start at. Because if you're doing them one per station... It will start at the current station, go to the next one, go to the next one after that. So make sure that you're on the station that you want to start with. And this is completely up to you. You may want to start at, I don't know, you may want to start at station 7 and go forward and go forward to, to 3 and then back to 8 and up to 2. It's completely up to you how you start. But whatever station you're on is where it will start entering them. So. That's how to enter them. Now, let's just say, for example, we didn't do it, but let's say we made an error. And we know that, and I'm going to, I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to go back to the other command. So the other command is same station. And of course, what that will do is exactly what I said before. It'll put all of the targets on one station. Same station. All target waypoint will be on same station. So we're going to do it here. So we're just so let's just say for the sake of argument. Let's just say for the sake of argument, I made an error in the degrees for that target on waypoint number three. You can edit it. It's rudimentary editing right now, but it does work. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit waypoint three, and we're going to change this 41 to a 42. So we make sure we're on station number one, uh, or uh, pre-plan number one. You always have to start there. Make your pre-plan mode. So we're going to uh, edit target three. Edit mode on. Editing target number three. So we now are in target number three mode, and we want to change the degrees to a 42. So it's north degrees 42. So we've now done that. Now we can turn edit mode off. Edit 8.0. Edit target zero. Edit mode off. Now it's actually target saying, number zero ready for entry into the jet. So we've actually uh, edited that even though we haven't entered it yet. So we still have to enter them all back in and it will change that one enter targets entering target number one into the jet so here's the issue of course right now as this is my first release it will redo all of them uh, I hope in the future to be able to find a way and it should be fairly easy to do it so that it skips target one target two and goes right to target three because that's the one that we edited but 
it should change. Entering target number two into the jet. So target two should be the same coordinates, shouldn't change. If it works. <laughs> this is a video, of course, so, you know, there's always going to be a screw up somewhere. So we'll watch as it does them all. And again, this is a little bit, this is this way is a little bit longer if you have to make an, uh, if you make an error because. Entering target number three into the jet. Because, of course, in the jet, you can make this change a lot faster. This particular thing, see, it changes it to a 42, which is exactly what we needed to do. So. Once this is done, uh, I believe that's everything that you need to know about making this work. So, feet, nine. All targets entered into the jet. So now everything is there, and we're back to uh, pre-planned one. So, as I said, in the future, I hope that when I edit this, I can go directly uh, to uh, that waypoint and only enter the information uh, that we... Uh, that we changed like I mean to do this manually it was much faster right now if you're editing because if I go in here down to here position latitude north 43 37 20 press enter enter and boom it's done so that's a little bit faster uh, but in the future hopefully I'll be able to make this work that it'll just do that for you as well so anyway so hopefully people get some use out of this and hope you enjoy it have a nice day